I know. I'll do it myself. Hey there, Marvel fans! Welcome back to our channel for another epic countdown. Today, we are delving into the dark and formidable world of Thanos, the Mad Titan himself. Get ready as we count down the top 10 most spine-chilling and unforgettable quotes from Thanos in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. From his ominous warnings to his chilling declarations of power, these quotes will leave you in awe. So sit back, relax and let's dive into the mind of one of the most iconic villains in cinematic history. Number 10. You should have gone for the head. In that epic moment from Avengers Infinity War, just when it seemed like Thor has done the hero thing and taken down Thanos, the big bad himself, Thanos, with a smidge of smudgeness, says to Thor, you should have gone for the head. It's like dang, Thanos is still kicking and can still snap his fingers, leading to the universe shattering moment where half of everything goes proof. This line is just a taste of the darkness ahead in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You should have gone for the head. Number 9. You could not live with your own failure and where did that bring you? Back to me. After Thanos did his snap with the Infinity Gauntlet, Earth turned into a real whirlwind. Life got tougher, especially for the famous heroes who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Thanos. Regular folks didn't quite get how serious it was, but those heroes who were supposed to stop Thanos felt the sting. In Endgame, it's all about dealing with failure and its aftermath, along with the idea of destiny. According to Thanos, those two are like peanut butter and jelly for heroes. He figures when people's expectation of themselves get shattered, they can move forward. His trash talk is like rocket fuel for them to figure out a way to fix the mess he made. You could not live with your own failure. Where did that bring you? Back to me. Number 8. Reality is often disappointing. So, the Avengers were kind of like the eternal optimists, always believing they could save the day. But then you've got Thanos, who's like the ultimate pessimist, with his whole snap the universe in half plan. However, even though Thanos was shooting for the stars with his crazy schemes, he knew he couldn't expect everything to go perfectly. Instead, he aimed for excellence, keeping his goals realistic. He figured life was a letdown anyway, so might as well shoot for something better, even if it meant doing some seriously messed up stuff in the MCU. You. When Thanos did his snap, it was like a wake-up call for the Avengers. Suddenly, their whole we-can-fix-anything attitude was shattered. They had to face the harsh truth of their situation. And even Thanos himself had to take a step back and reassess things when the aftermath turned out to be way darker than he thought it'd be. Reality is often disappointing. That is, it was. Number 7. Tip the cosmic scales to balance. You've got these cosmic heavy hitters in the MCU like the Eternals who are basically playing on a whole different level compared to your average earthbound superheroes. When Thanos rolls onto the scene as a big bad, the Avengers are suddenly dealing with a guy who's thinking on a universe scale way beyond just Earth. When Thanos talks about balancing the cosmic scales, he ain't just pouting poetry. He's coming from the perspective of a cosmic conqueror who's seen it all. He knows that making the universe less chaotic means making some seriously tough calls and that usually involves some heavy sacrifices. This quote also connects Thanos back to his cosmic book roots. In the comics, he's all about impressing Dad herself with his brutal deeds which ties into the whole idea of him wrestling with the nature of the universe and his own place in it. Number 6. The only matter I do not take seriously, boy, is you. Your politics bore me. Your demonor is that of a pouting child. Alright, let's dive into Guardians of the Galaxy. That's where we got our proper introduction to Thanos, none of that quick head-turning smirk stuff from the Avengers. In this movie, Thanos sends Ronan on a mission to grab the Power Stone for him promising to white out Xandar in return. But Ronan doesn't quite grasp the power dynamic here. But when Thanos finally faces off with Ronan, it's a chilling moment. He puts Ronan, this big shot, in his place, calling him a boy and scolding him for messing up with Gamora and the stone. It's a classic case of show-don't-tell storytelling. 
instantly establishing Thanos as a force to be reckoned with. Ronan tries to stand up to him later on, but let's just say it doesn't end well for him. The only matter I do not take seriously, boy, is you. Your politics bore me. Your demeanor is that of a pouty child. Number 5. Fine, I'll do it myself. Let's talk about how Thanos went from being just a blip on the MCU radar to a major player. The folks behind the scenes did a bang up job of retroactively fitting Thanos and the Infinity Stones into a bunch of different storylines. But it wasn't until Avengers Age of Ultron that Thanos really steps up and say, hey, I'm here to shake things up. Even though it's just a quick scene, Brolin's delivery gives it that extra oomph, building anticipation for Thanos' big moments down the road. Now, it takes a few more years for Thanos to really steal the show in Avengers Infinity War. But this line in Age of Ultron plants the seed for what's to come. Sure, the whole Infinity Gauntlet thing might seem a bit out of place timing wise, considering we get the full backstory on it in Infinity War. But hey, it's a minor hiccup compared to some other timeline mix ups we've seen in the MCU. Fine. I'll do it myself. Number 4. I imagine it's like breathing for you. Alright, let's break down this cool scene from Guardians of the Galaxy. Everyone knows you don't mess around with Thanos, the big bad guy. But here comes the collector, aka Tanalir Tyvan, pulling a fast one, claiming he sold off the reality stone. When Thanos ain't buying it, the collector tries to play it smooth, saying, Why would I lie? To which Thanos hits back with a Dreisinger. I imagine it's like breathing for you. It's a classic Thanos moment, showing off his dry sense of humor, especially since he knows the Collector is pulling his leg. Turns out the Collector really does have the stone and knows exactly what it is, proving Thanos has a keen eye for character. I imagine it's like breathing for you. Number 3. I don't even know who you are. Alright, let's break down the mind game Thanos played with Scarlet Witch in Avengers Infinity War. See, Thanos didn't always need the Infinity Gauntlet to mess with his opponents. He could mess with their heads just by making them doubt themselves and their reality. So when Scarlet Witch confronts him, telling him she's taken everything from her, Thanos hits her with this brutal line, I don't even know who you are, ouch. This moment really shows the depth of Thanos' manipulation. He's able to make even his fiercest enemies feel small and insignificant. It also gives us a glimpse into the skill of Thanos' plan. Some of his biggest adversaries are just blips on his radar, which is pretty chilling. And it's a reality check for the heroes of the MCU. Thanos isn't motivated by hate or personal grudges. He's willing to do whatever it takes to achieve his goals, no matter who gets in his way. You took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. You will. Alright folks, before we dive back into those epic Thanos quotes, let me take a quick moment to remind you of something crucial. If you're enjoying this video, if you're finding it engaging and entertaining, then why not show your support? Don't just sit there, be a part of our awesome community by hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel. We're always striving to bring you the coolest and most captivating content, so why not join us on this journey? Go ahead, smash that like button, hit subscribe and don't forget to share with your friends so they can join the fun too. Thanks for tuning in, and let's make this community even more awesome together. Number 2. I am inevitable. Oh, those pining chilling words, I am inevitable, that Thanos kept dropping became his trademark. Thanos knew that the most devastating blow to his enemies would be the belief that no matter what they did, his destruction was inevitable. This was most evident when the Avengers tracked him down after he snapped his fingers with the Infinity Gauntlet, wiping out half of Earth's population. He explains that after using the stones on Earth, he utilized their power to obliterate the artifacts. This act nearly cost him his life, but served to solidify his destructive purpose and made the damage he caused irreversible. It's understandable why Thanos held this belief, considering the version that uttered it was from the past, having witnessed his future self-success. I am inevitable. Number 1. There will always be those that are unable to accept what can be. So, after Thanos snaps his finger and throws the world into chaos, the Avengers are a mess. They can't seem to cope with their shared loss. 
and it's tough for them to keep things together even they're falling apart themselves. Even Captain America, who's usually the beacon of hope, is struggling to keep it together. But then Thanos drops this line, as long as there are those that remember what was, there will always be those that are unable to accept what can be. They will resist. And you know what? He's kinda right. In Avengers Endgame, we see exactly that. The people who can refuse to accept the new status quo, like Cap, are the ones who fight back against Thanos and his messed up plans. Normally, resisting change might seem like clinging to the past, but for Cap and the gang, it's about honoring the memories of those they've lost and standing up to Thanos. Their refusal to just roll over and accept things as they are turns out to be one of their strongest weapons against them. And as long as there are those that remember what was, there will always be those that are unable to accept what can be. And that wraps up our countdown of the top 10 best Thanos codes from the MCU. Which code was your favorite? Did we miss any that you think should have made the list? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our channel for more Marvel content. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thanks for tuning in, true believers. Until next time, stay heroic.